Good morning, it's Tuesday the 18th of April. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with the news. I sort of want to know what's going on in the world, and then when I do know, I often wish that I didn't. It's probably made worse by the fact that I have alerts coming up on my phone, so when news stories break, I see them straight away, and it's hard to escape from them. I was interested, therefore, to read about a news broadcast that took place on this day in 1930. The BBC News commentator came on air and made this announcement. Good evening. Today is Good Friday. There is no news. There then followed piano music for the rest of the 15-minute broadcast. I wonder how we feel about that. Do we long for a no news day and simply some relaxing piano music? It's hard to imagine, isn't it? I suppose, however difficult we find the news, it does bring opportunities for us. The first is an opportunity to be thankful. If we are not part of a challenging news story that day, then in lots of ways we are blessed. The second is it brings an opportunity to respond, sometimes in protest, more often in prayer. The news should never be ignored. It should make us feel uncomfortable and unsettled. It should call us to stand alongside those who are suffering or struggling. There's also the importance of remembering news stories that quickly drop out of the news or those that are ignored by the news. The third reminder to us and opportunity of the news is that there are good news stories that so often don't make the headlines that we need to be aware of. One of these for me recently was the story of Lucy, the pianist, who played the piano at Leeds railway station as part of the Channel 4 programme, The Piano. Lucy is blind due to childhood cancer and she's developmentally delayed. Yet she is a brilliant young pianist and expresses herself through music in a way that is beautiful and moving to watch. It's a reminder of the goodness and beauty at the heart of each individual that God creates. A challenge to each of us to look for those moments of joy and be thankful for good news when it arises. Lucy's music would be a welcome addition to any news programme. I can't imagine a day now when there is no news, but certainly it would be good to hear some positive good news stories to balance the challenging ones. Our faith does not shield us from suffering and pain, but does offer hope in the midst of it. Our good news comes in the words of Paul from Romans chapter 8, that nothing can separate us from God's love, absolutely nothing. Let's pray. Loving God, we pray for all who will find themselves in the news today. Those facing suffering and loss, that they will know your presence and comfort. Those facing celebration and good news, that they will live in hope. For each one of us, that we will live today in the good news, that we are loved by God. Amen.